Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will have a tactical look on Mason Mount's performance against Croatia. Before we begin, I would like to thank Econo Coaches Academy for sponsoring this video. Econo is a football training method with over 18 years of experience. The method was first found in 2003 by Carlos Romagosa, the former FC Barcelona coach, and David Hernandez. Over the years, Econo have worked with several football clubs and associations. We are talking about the likes of Paris Saint-Germain, and they have also worked with several players including Christian Pulisic, Jordi Alba, and Carlos Poyol. Econo is the best way in order to improve your football knowledge and tactical sense. They offer books, online courses and memberships as well, from which you can sign up to receive new weekly content in the form of videos called Performance Secrets. On the screen right now you can have a look on a sample of these secrets. The memberships also include the access to extra training drills and exclusive webinars. Not only that, but you can also receive special discounts and a 30 minutes monthly meeting with an Econo licensed coach. Make sure to enter the code MITSUJR to get your first 15 days for free plus 50% discount on your first 3 months of the membership. The link in the description will guide you directly towards the membership plans, select the one that suits you the best, either the essential or the premium, insert the discount code and complete the registration. I'm happy to announce that we will be selecting a lucky winner to enjoy two 12 months memberships with a friend of their choice totally for free. Head over to my Instagram to join the giveaway and tag a friend that you want to win this giveaway with. The link to my Instagram would be in the description as well. So back to the video, Mason Mount played as an attacking midfielder, however he was playing more on the left hand side. Southgate tried to create this kind of trio that you can see on the screen, between Trippier, Sterling and Mason Mount. This positioning of Mount had two benefits, the first was giving more options to Trippier as he was playing in the left back position while he's right footed so he was not able to cross directly after performing any underlaps or overlaps. This triangle between Sterling, Mount and Trippier helped him find more options during the attacking phase. The second benefit of this positioning was the ability to switch roles with Raheem Sterling. We have seen both players switch their positions a lot between the lines. Now let's talk about Mason Mount's individual performance. He has shown great abilities in this match, especially with the tactical awareness. I cannot stress enough on how scanning the pitch is important for every footballer. If you watch any match and notice that one player is in form or one player is performing noticeably good, you will definitely notice how they constantly look around to scan the pitch and gather the information. This information may be about the positioning of their teammates or even the status of their position. When playing as an attacking midfielder, scanning the pitch is not optional. Your teammates will give you the ball in many of these situations where the opposition is applying the high pressure. Generally, when you are playing in the attacking midfield position, you have more skills in any shape or another than some of your teammates. So, under the high pressure, they can just pass the ball to you, and you have to react and get out with it. You need to make sure that your team is safe whenever the ball is with you. We have noticed how Mount was concentrating on positioning between the midfield and defensive lines of Croatia many times as this is the most dangerous part to own position during the attacking phase. Whenever the team was not able to get the ball to him, he would drop down and get out with the ball himself. A crucial point here is the importance of his off the ball movement. After passing the ball, he always continues to move forward and provide another passing option to his teammates. This is really important as you should always be moving around and try to stay active as much as possible. Make sure to check out Best Soccer Store if you want cheap and high quality football jerseys. Do not forget to use the code MITSU to get $4 off at the checkout. Head over to www.bestsoccerstore.cn the link-up plays that we saw between Mount, Sterling and Trippier highlighted his off-the-ball movement as well. So let's say Sterling drops down. He would try to move forward to exploit the spaces. Remember that any movement that happens on the pitch will directly have an impact on the opposition's defensive organization. So by identifying the space, you can create scoring opportunities. Notice how Mount here didn't listen to Trippier while he was asking for the ball, as he knew that Kane was in a better position to progress the attack. 
In the attacking mid position, you will always have the control during the attacking phase. Do whatever you think is better to progress the attack. You do not always have to listen to your teammates or stick to the safe passes. This position requires some risky passes. Notice how this link-up always forced Croatia to mark them with a minimum of 3 players, which left huge spaces for England generally all over the pitch. Southgate used this concept to exploit the half spaces and asked Phillips to move forward as well. These link-up plays was a main part of the game plan in general. Another really important point to keep in mind when playing in that position is that you need to ask for the ball a lot. If you trust your scanning and positioning, you need to convince your teammates to pass the ball to you. And what's a better way of doing so other than raising your hand and calling them out loud? The more you do this, the more minutes you get with the ball under your control. Remember that whenever you drop down, your main aim is to pass the ball forward, so try to read the situation and identify where the opposition's defensive mistakes are. This will help you play such key passes even from deep positions. Playing in an attacking position does not mean that you do not have any defensive responsibilities. Mason Mount showed great defensive awareness during this match. Here you can see that Croatia was able to stretch the defensive line. This quick reading of the game and decision making helped him cover the opposition before moving towards the space. His defensive awareness was also shown during the same link up plays as well. Whenever Trippier pushed higher during the pressing, Mason Mount covered his position at the back. He also had general defensive responsibilities once Sterling scored the first goal to secure the 3 points. He also had a lot of pressing responsibilities. Generally speaking, as an attacking midfielder, make sure to take the advantage from the high pressure that the front three will be applying. Basically, the defensive line of the opposition will not always be the best with the ball, so they would either just clear it away or force a pass to the midfield line. Try to read this pass and intercept it as this will be one of the best outcomes of applying the high pressure. It will give your team a huge advantage over the opposition as well as the front three would be running towards the spaces already as they have seen you intercept that ball, which would make it easier for you to play the key pass. Mason Mount's high pressure was not that aggressive, but it was really efficient as he intercepted a couple of balls as you can see on the screen right now. So that was it guys, I hope you have enjoyed this analysis. I'll be doing more of these individual player analysis during the Euros, so let me know what positions or players that you want me to do next. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.